Hey folks, welcome back to My Kitten Reads. I'm Eleanor and this is my September Outcrate unboxing. At least I think it's September. Should be September. Haven't received October yet. Anyway, Outcrate. Yay! Also, new filming background because I have new shelves. Woo! Um, I won't go into detail about them. That might be another video if I find myself needing a topic. Um, but yes, new filming background. Outcrate unboxing. It's a good week. So, what do we have in the September owl crate? I can't remember what the theme is supposed to be. But, of course, the spoiler card is on the uh, top. And it's, ooh, a skull with a bunch of leaves. That's the artwork. And uh, the theme is Memento Mori. So, uh, I'm assuming it's sort of a bit of a, a sort of death type spooky theme it is oh no if it's for se september who knows but yes so memento mori so the first thing on top is very clearly something cloth like so oh it's like a little backpack fabric backpack drawstring bag thing i think is it yes it is i had it upside down so a little drawstring bag backpack theme as well so that will be useful and what does it say it says creswell and wadsworth investigative services belgrave square established 1888 with big rose on it so i'm not sure what that's in reference to let me see ah the artwork is by Lichen and Limestone, and it's from something called Stalking Jack the Ripper. Ooh, Stalking Jack the Ripper. Interesting. That sounds like the kind of thing I might be interested in reading. Croswell and Wandsworth, Wadsworth, Investigative Services, Victorian Era. Actually, I might have to look that book up, because <laughs> it does kind of sound like my thing. So, that's cool. Um, this thing I've lost, I don't, I no longer have something next to me, so figure out where to put things. There, that'll do. Uh, ooh, we have a nice big box. So, this is probably an Alcrate. It's designed by no one. Batteries include, ooh, light your way through the dark corridors of crumbling manor houses or overgrown gothic gardens with this lantern inspired by Gallant. Huh, a lantern. Interesting. So, let me get it out. Ooh, it's well packed in. So, the box can go over there. Ooh, pretty. So, it's like mirrored sides. In black like iron and so one side has like a country house and front garden with like roses and then it says some people are repelled by darkness others are drawn to it and then there is what looks like a window in a country house and then I'm not sure if you can see this because it's so reflective and it's engraved in um, and then there's a quote with some skeleton hands that says, these dreams will be the death of me. So if it says batteries are included, oh, there, that might help you see better. How cool is that? I could, I could use it to wander my way through <laughs> the dark house if I don't want to turn on lights. Oh, that's really, really cool. So that's interesting. Now we have some sort of case. It says, what does it say? Stories are the wildest things of all. Then sort of a bronze on a black, black, black background. And if I unzip the case, what's inside it? Oh, oh, okay. So it's divided into these little, I think it's like a jewelry. Is it a jewelry? It is. It's a travel size jewelry box inspired by a monster, a monster calls and designed by Raven Pages Design. 
So you see like there's sections for rings, I suppose earrings, yeah, and necklaces and stuff. So for traveling with jewelry, that will actually be useful because I usually just throw any jewelry I'm taking with me into my toiletries bag, but then it gets sort of lost down the bottom of the bag. And yeah, so a travel size jewelry case, handy. Ah, our crate, so practical and so pretty. Ooh, okay. So we have, aha, uh -huh, this has come undone, but it's a candle called One Flesh, One End, Sea Salt, Musk, Amber, Cardamom, and Citrus from Flick the Wick. So, yeah, it smells pretty good. I haven't been using candles much lately. But then I haven't, and so I've still got a bunch sitting around here, but I always love having candle. It is a very nice scent. I can smell sort of the muskiness, but there's that sort of sea salt tang um, and sort of spicy citrus notes as well. Mm, it smells nice. So that's a Flick the Wick candle. And that is... A Gideon the Ninth inspired candle. Okay, I've not read Gideon the Ninth. I'm not sure it's quite my thing, but I have definitely heard of it. Um, but it's a candle and it smells nice. So yay. What else do we have? Ooh, a little bag and inside is this. Now what is, oh, I think I know what this is. It's like a bag holder. So, um, yes, keep your hook bags and our crack totes clean and close with this useful bag holder. So it's like you you place this bit on the table surface and then you unhook it and you can hang your bags on it. So that is useful. Um, and it's got this design on it that says Memento Mori on a book. You might not be able to see it, it's really quite darkly coloured. But uh, that's really cute. And that is designed by Paperback Bones, Tess Medovic. And yeah, it's with the Memento Mori theme in uh, mind, but not with a particular book. So, yeah. I mean, I don't have a lot of, I don't have a lot of like tables, but still useful. If I can find somewhere to put it, definitely useful. I like it. I like it a lot. Such a practical box, this. So then we have the luggage tag enamel pin, which is this month's, this year's enamel pin collection. So it says Sarah Moon Festival, literary luggage, and it is designed by High Atlas and inspired by Ember and the Ashes, which again, I haven't read because. You know me, I haven't read a lot of these books, but it's still pretty and it will go on the hangout with the rest of them. Now, we have the book. And the book is The Depths by Nicole Lesperance. So, The Depths by Nicole Lesperance. It looks like it's maybe contemporary with a bit of fantasy. Um... I'm not entirely sure. Essentially, the main character, Addie, is forced to go with her mother on her honeymoon to this small paradisical island. Um, she's going to think she's going to be bored. She sort of, it's all gorgeous. She goes, I think, swimming, meets a boy who, when the flowers start turning pink, says the island loves her. But it feels kind of eerie and something doesn't feel quite right. And then she learns the story about two sisters who died on the island. And there's a whole bunch of secrets she needs to untangle before she's stuck on the island forever. So, sounds like it could be interesting. This book has utterly gorgeous end papers. Like, those green foil leaves are just gorgeous. And then the cover under... I mean, there's the, there's the design at the back of the paper sleeve, but the actual cover itself. Look how beautiful that is. So, very gorgeous book. Sounds kind of interesting, not too long. But yeah, not an author I've read before, so it's what? 
356 pages long. So interesting. Um, as usual with our crate, there is a letter from the author. There is the newsletter for the month, which has got the usual puzzles and recommendations and interviews in it and all sorts of fun stuff. And then there's the spoiler card for the October box, which I hope arrives soon. So the October theme is a study in shadows. Huh. So that's the design. A study in shadows. I'm hoping for something Sherlockian in them. Because, of course, the first Sherlock Holmes novel is called A Study in Scarlet. Yes, studies, I get confused because the first episode of the TV show Sherlock is A Study in Pink. So, yeah. But I think the book is actually called A Study in Scarlet. In fact, oh, it's up here somewhere. Where is it? Uh, there we go. Yes, A Study in Scarlet. Um, and the hint. Ooh, the next box will have the next uh, paperback classic designed by Rena Illustration, that series of paperback classics that they're doing this year, which I already have uh, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, which is over on the old bookshelves that you used to see, and uh, Pride and Prejudice, which is up there. So uh, yeah, and they're on there. So we're getting the next book in that collection. So that'll be fun. Two books. So yeah, what was my favorite? Oh, what was my favorite thing? Um, I think maybe the candle and maybe the travel jewelry box because I can see actually that sort of fills a gap in in things uh, that I don't have. Not that I wear much jewelry these days, um, but often if I'm going, if I'm traveling, particularly if I'm going home for like Christmas or something, there's usually some sort of big family event thing happening. Um, I could have used it honestly when I just went to the wedding uh, a couple of weeks back. Um, and those are the kind of things that I'm more likely to wear jewellery for. So having something to transport it in without it getting mixed up with all other stuff, that could actually be quite useful. So yeah, those are probably my favourite things. Although honestly, that lantern is pretty cute. Um, but yeah, so that is the, oh, sorry, not the October, the September Outcrack box. Um, uh, yeah, as usual, comment, like, subscribe if you want to chat about books, and I will see you all again really soon. Bye!